Hi guys and welcome to the test ride and review of the all new Yamaha NEOS electric scooter. I've been riding it in Amsterdam and I'm gonna tell you all about it. Believe it or not, the new NEOS is Yamaha's first mass-produced electric scooter to be offered in Europe. In fact, the Japanese have been developing electric vehicles for 30 years, some of which have already been offered on the Asian market. But now they want to take off in Europe. Is the new NEOS a successful start? The new electric scooter has a typically Japanese look, cuddly, playful, but still with clear lines. Its predecessor is the old NEO, which has established itself as a popular city runabout with over 600,000 units sold since 1997. But now, in 2022, the focus is not only on electric drive, but also on a refreshed look with LED lighting and rounded edges. Clever solutions, such as the rubberized edges of the running board, which are designed to protect against scratches or the smart key system, make the owner's everyday life easier. One criticism one often reads about electric scooters of this class is the lack of quality. Regardless of whether these prejudices are justified or not, you don't need to worry about anything with the Yamaha Neos. Here we have a scooter with typical Yamaha quality, which you can see and feel in every aspect. No fairing rattles over potholes, the feel of the controls is satisfying. What's more, the Yamaha dealer network is well developed. For maintenance work or possible problems, you don't have to search long for the next workshop. Yamaha's developers had a specific target for the new Neos, the inner city area. Many cities close the center to combustion vehicles or reduce the speed to a maximum of 30 km per hour. They want to reach people who live in such areas. For this reason, an 8 kg, 50.4V, 19.2R or 1KW H lithium ion battery is used which is stored under the seat. According to Yamaha, the battery has a range of 37 km and can be charged via a household socket in the vehicle or removed and charged at home. A full charge should take about 8 hours. Optionally, an additional battery can be ordered from the dealer which, according to Yamaha, increases the range to 68 kilometers. The cost is 1,200 euros. This corresponds to about one third of the vehicle price, but is expected to change in the coming years. Thanks to a joint venture between the big four Yamaha, Honda, KTM and Piaggio, batteries are to become standardized and cheaper. The idea is to offer public battery stations where you can stop. Swap the empty battery for a full one and be on the road again. With the new NEOs they haven't got that far yet. The battery unit comes from Yamaha and was developed in-house. As the information center for the rider, Yamaha has installed a compact LC display that shows data on speed, time, charging status and smartphone connectivity. Pressing the mode switch on the right hand side of the handlebar allows you to choose between standard and eco mode. Standard offers the full power of 3.2 horsepower and does not limit the top speed of 45 km per hour. In this mode, the range is set to be 37 km under perfect conditions. The eco mode reduces the power and the top speed also drops to 35 km per hour, perfect for inner city zones. One would therefore expect the range to shoot up in return, but unfortunately this is not the case. On our test ride through Amsterdam we didn't have enough time to get to the bottom of this issue so we have to believe Yamaha's data. In eco mode, the range increases by only 1.5 km. That means 38.5 km with one battery installed. According to Yamaha, this value is given because you have to be conservative with such figures. Depending on how you drive and the current temperature, this value would vary too much, hence 1.5 km. We tell you, stay in standard mode, eco rarely pays off. So on a cloudy day, we started our test ride through beautiful Amsterdam. The backpack fit comfortably in the storage compartment and we quietly drove off. With one battery installed, 27 liters of storage space fit under the 795 mm high seat, which is equivalent to a full face helmet. With both batteries installed, this space shrinks but still holds a jet helmet. Ergonomically, the Neo seating position is comfortable. The low step through makes it easy to sit on and the footboard offers enough space even with motorbike sneakers. Thanks to the 13 inches tires, the electric scooter is agile when cornering and the NEOS is stable over potholes and uneven cobblestones. But that is also thanks to the suspension. Wooden and merciless for the spine. Many electric scooters in this class suffer from poor suspension due to cost pressure. Not so with the Yamaha NEOS. Keaba provides a telescopic fork and shock absorber and you can really speak of a good setup. 
at least for this class. It competently processes the road conditions and passes them on to the rider with good damping. A welcome surprise in this class. How did the electric scooter perform in terms of range? There are two factors to consider here. On one hand we had installed two batteries and on the other hand battery 1 switches to battery 2 at a remaining charge of 20%. In our case this switch happened at kilometer 25 so mathematically the battery would have managed 31 kilometers if it had been discharged to 0% with the same consumption. In purely theoretical terms the range with both batteries would be just over 60 kilometers at 9 degrees Celsius and our riding style. All theoretical but more than 10% below the manufacturer's specification. At the 25 degrees outside temperature specified by the WMTC standard, this would certainly have looked different. It's getting more complicated when it comes to charging. There is no problem with one battery installed. The unit can be charged either in the vehicle or externally with the charger supplied. A charging cycle from 0 to 100% takes 8 hours from 20 to 80 percent 4 hours. Things get tricky with the second and optional battery. There is no way to charge both units simultaneously in the vehicle. Each battery needs its own charger. So either you charge the batteries one after the other which could mean 16 hours of charging time or you buy a second charger. The cost is about 150 euros. There is a need for change here for a successor or future electric models. Either a common charging point is needed to charge both batteries simultaneously in the vehicle or the additional charging cable must be supplied with the second battery. After all, the additional battery and charging cable generate additional costs of around 1450 euros, more than a third of the vehicle price. So what's our verdict? The new NEOS is a typical Yamaha scooter. Even though the NEOS is the first electric scooter from the Japanese manufacturer to be launched on the market, all the virtues of the combustion scooters can be found here. Good natured handling, high quality standards and intuitive operation. Just the charging concept, not at all unimportant for an e-scooter, still offers room for improvement, which will certainly come in the next few years. Nevertheless, a good introduction to e-mobility.